Welcome back to Magic Gathering Strata and Baba. We're in round three of this Popper Daily event with Hexproof. We're 2 0 so far. We're up against Forkin. Uh, who wants to kick our Forkin at? Uh, but, pardon me. Um, we got a keeper here, so let's get this thing going. He's probably on Delver Fiend. He has been in the past, but it's been a little while. But this is the only, the only deck he's uh, got results with on Goldfish right now, so. This is a pretty good keep against Delver Fiend. Gaining life. Um, it's kind of the name of the game against Fiend, I think. So we'll see. Uh, see what happens. I've been playing a little Delver Fiend lately, so uh, I feel a little refreshed um, on that deck, which should be helpful. It's looking fiendy. To me. See if he shuffles. He chose to not shuffle. He likes his stuff coming. That always makes me sad. And he's gonna probe me to see what we're on. Not a bad turn one play. Fiend can just win explosively. It's also surprisingly resilient. So we will get a Turn one Glade Cover Scout and a turn two Ledge Walker and a turn three Ancestral Mask, if nothing else changes our game plan. That should be fine. The Rancor is nice too. He's still not shuffling. He's still in blue. He's still pondering. Ponder, ponder, ponder. All the ponders. And now he did shuffle. Interesting. Okay. Sprawl for white. Attack with all. There's his red mana. There's a Kiln Fiend. Well, this could be it. Armadillo Cloak's pretty sweet. A little slow. Um, we're going to gain as much life as we can off of this Armadillo Cloak. Keep back the Glade Cover Scout to block. That was a good rip on the cloak. I would have, uh, I'd like an ethereal armor. Uh, if we stay alive this turn, which we're making it so he has to do 25 to us and get around a blocker. So we could live. And if we do, the mask should be good. Maybe we'll rip another one mana enchantment. Um, and that could be game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen. Yeah, that would get us there. So if we don't die, any one mana enchantment should win game one, which would be pretty good. Oh, good. Cyclops is actually great here. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's not a one mana enchantment. How big are you getting? Up to 12? Up to 11. But we're going to gain 11 life. Which is going to be great. And we will play the Bogle. Always yield to that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, good. Whew. Yeah. Fast enough and life gainy enough. Go right around his uh, his swings here. Um, two trickeries. I 
bet he brings in the flaring pain, but I think we bring in the moment's peace anyway. He's got the Delvers, which we don't care about. I don't care about any of this other stuff. Okay. Ancestral Mask was handy there, but it might be a little too slow. Just bring in dispels. He's got dispels and flaring pains. But gosh, I think we just really need that moment's piece. There's no way not to have it. Keeping the life gain, losing the masks. Okay. We'll try it like this. Wow. There is no action here, and he just destroys us before we do anything, right? Hmm. Okay, we'll try it. It's not the worst. There's a turn one Delver. We'll get a scout. We do have to worry about electric rigs. because I'm sure he brought those in. Flips to a mutagenic growth. Yeah, he's going to take us to task real fast here, I think. Not swinging with the Delver is interesting. We're obviously not swinging, swinging with the scout, so. We put our Glade Cover Scouts out there for trickery. If he's got it. Otherwise, it's nice to have one guy to attack and one guy to block. Or two guys to buff. It's Crufix's Insight next turn. And uh, we hope we just rip some really good enchantments, because... Uh, that's what we got. Both of them in the starter. Okay, so no Kiln Fiend. He's not attacking. I feel really great about that, actually. No counters. He can't dispel it. Rancor, Rancor, Utopia Sprawl. Ditch a couple land. Okay. Well, that was good. Still not attacking. Uh, we want some life gain, but we'll take Rancor, Rancor stuff. Oh, geez. Still not attacking me. Why not? So weird. All right. Sprawl. For white. Gonna be one big glade cover scout. That's lethal next turn. If we don't die. He's got the kiln fiend though. Let's 
right. Just no dodging, no blessing, no nothing. Don't kill me. You're pretty well set up to do it. Yeah, there's a probe. That's what we got. Come on now, let's get lethal. Come on. Ponder is okay. There's his blue mana. He didn't play a land yet. He did shuffle. He rips an island. Oh no. Oh no. He's got the blessing. Yep. Pro green. 13, 16. And a bolt. No, there's the growth. That's it. Ah, one turn off. I wish I had a bolt now. Is there any way I could have done that differently? 19, 24, pretty good. I'm just curious. Yeah, Armadillo Cloak is in there. A couple of them. All right, that's fine. Yeah, still happy with what we did. We knew we kept a clunky hand, and it really worked out pretty well. Until they put us one turn behind him. We would like to play first. We would like some land. All right, we'll keep this. Uh, we'll get white. The moment's pieces are slow. This is what we wanted last. Uh, on the draw, we wanted the moment's pieces. He's only got the one flaring pain. Plenty of dispels, though. So. Um, getting Ledgewalker and getting her suited up is the thing. We've got nothing to suit her up with, though, so it could just be uh, right out of luck there. Yeah, that's not exciting either. Okay. Okay. Winning match three is even more important to me than winning match four. Because um, if you go into match four as a 3-0, you're happy no matter what. But if you go in as a 2-1, uh, it's quite concerning. Let's draw something good. Let's get some gas. That's not it. Killing me. Killing me, deck. Okay. He did probe me, so he saw both my pieces. Not much to do about that. So he needs dispels, he needs stuff. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. Seriously. That's something. Okay. Question is do we let him draw to spell or do we just moments peace? He has it or he doesn't. Good. He can still flaring pain me. We're going to keep that stop there, though. Now, if he just hits himself for two again, like, uh, no, he tapped for that one. Any enchantment increases our clock to a two-turn clock. There's some guys. None of them can block. There's a bogle. 
Yes, I'm aware of that. Thank you. Back up, Bogle. Maybe I should have kept both moments pieces up. <clears throat> okay. Ponder. Okay. Whew. Come on, man. We are. Uh... Not cooking with gas. Put stuff on top and chose to not shuffle, which is ominous for me. He's not attacking. He's really just all about the alpha strike. Oh, Jesus. Double strikes uh, interesting, and then if he has a piracy charm, this doesn't seem good. Oh, hmm. Double strike pro green. Well, he's down to two cards though. Keeping this guy alive seems good. Okay. He's down to five. We really just need one way to run him over. Just like one thing. Or to see. We'll let um we're gonna hold on to our moments piece and see if he has lethal. Otherwise, we throw the Boggle under the bus. He'd have to throw away a Battle Rage, which is great. I think keeping this Ledge Walker alive was the best thing, because she wins off a Rancor or an Armadillo Cloak. Um, and we have eight of those cards and the Insights. So that's ten cards pretty much win if we don't lose. Now, those are pretty good odds. Just with the Kiln Fiend. It's a bolt. So we play the armor, we attack with both of our guys. He has to block. He's got one card left. We have Moments Peace for his next attack. He's got to beat us with that Kiln Fiend. All right, it's gushing. Yeah, they both have to die. Okay. And he's got to draw it. 
we're not going to do this here. We will do it in response to anything that digs. Um, do we do it in response to the probe? We should have done it during his upkeep, I suppose. Because we let him draw a card, now I to draw another card. Okay, it's not resolved. We got around to spells. We still have to worry about a flaring pain off the top. Nope. <clears throat> and we win the match. Whew. That was intense. All right, well, we are 3-0 now in this Popper Daily, um, right where we want to be going into round four, because that makes it uh, much less stressful. Obviously, a 4-0 is amazing, but a 3-1 is pretty good, too. So uh, I'm Bava playing uh, Dane 5's Bogles list in this Popper Daily event. I'll see you guys in the last round.